Welcome back to Defense Team News. I'm Shelley Van Hoof. And I'm Lieutenant Jeff Lura. Here are the headlines at Defense. Earlier this month, NATO's maritime exercise Dynamic Manta 18 began, when ships, submarines, aircraft, and over 5,000 military members from 11 Allied countries convened at Augusta Naval Base and Naval Air Station Sigonella in Italy. HMCS Windsor, two CP-140 Aurora Maritime Patrol aircraft, and approximately 140 Canadian Armed Forces personnel participated. HMCS Windsor is a, a significant addition to NATO's maritime capability, as well as a strong symbol of Canada's ongoing commitment to NATO. The Royal Canadian Air Force is making important contributions to Dynamic Manta. Two long-range maritime patrol aircraft and their crews will fly approximately a quarter of the anti-submarine missions during the exercise. This annual exercise took place from March 5th to 16th in the Ionian Sea and was designed to sharpen the Alliance's collective defense capability through improved interoperability and the honing of anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare skills. This year's deadline to submit year-end assessments of public service performance agreements for civilian employees is the 6th of April. All managers and supervisors are required to complete year-end assessments of PSPAs. This applies to indeterminate and term employees who are working full-time or part-time. Should an employee have an action plan or talent management plan, these are to be submitted at the same time. For performance agreements for the next fiscal year, a new online application will be introduced on April 20th, and further instructions will be circulated in the coming weeks. That's it for us. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time for Defense Team News.